Last night I decided to step outside and take a breath. Maybe just seeing the sun again would help me keep my wits. When I came back to camp sweating from the heat, I told one of the other mercs she should do the same. She told me she already did, but it was too damn cold. I wasn't sure what she meant until I saw the snow on her boot. <gasps> oh my god. Huh. I'm not sure what the fuck this means. What? How does that imply that you're losing your mind? Doesn't that just mean it snowed? What? <laughs> did did this did mercenary not know about weather? Is <laughs> My guy, it can snow. When we had last left the last dragonborn, they were chilling out in a frigid snow valley filled with hands and other bones, but mostly hands, and some of them attached to shields. They also traveled out of that valley in order to accomplish Old Man Froki's mysterious tasks of might and magic. Yes, they had to travel out to mystical landmarks filled with ancient spectral spiritual creatures and beat the shit out of them. And they did exactly that. Also, they went back to Whiterun and helped Old Ulfred, patron of the Great Clan Battleborn, a name I'm sure you know well. They helped that guy free some other dude from getting imprisoned or arrested because they were drunk in a major way, publicly, and they did it. Whoa. Now, with Ulfred pledged to help the Thieves' Guild, it was time to fuck off and speak with some other old man who lived in the mountains. That's right. Froki. Wetted Blade, or whatever his last name was. It was time to talk to him, but also maybe Delvin again. This... Oh, and maybe there was a word nearby to check out, too. This is the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Welcome back. <laughs> I'm eating salmon. Boop, there we go. As you can see, I moved us just a short jaunt from out here by the monument, Gyakar's monument, to Entraheim, where I have deposited... A few things I've done, some rudimentary inventory management. I put this hat on top of here. It is identical to the usual Golden Saint helmet, except for the amazing enchant. So hey, I thought, why not? And I put on the amazing arcane blacksmith's get up onto this one. Did I do anything with weapons? I don't think so. I deposited a whole bunch of ore and material. All that sort of dumb shit. We got all that beginning to be situated here. And as you can see, we have two lovely guests already vibing at the home. Hilda, the Wonder Goat, and Scritch, the... The Silly Skeever. <laughs> the, the Super Skeever. Look at it dance. Hell yes. Scritch loves to fucking dance. All right, we're just going to leave them in here, though, to chill. They're just going to hang out and, you know. <laughs> Look, we don't have anyone else living in here. We're just going to, like, have, like, cool animals live inside, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> right. Oh, and also, we made use of some of Hendraheim's amazing and immaculate services. That's right. The salmon that grow on the ropes nearby. And these as well, bird and rat. Wait, <laughs> that's a that's a rabbit. That's not a rat. <laughs> bird and rat. Yeah, we got some of that shit. We got that shit going on too. All right, let's head on over to Valthum, right? Because it is so close. If this were different circumstances, we probably wouldn't do it. But it is like remarkably close, you know. Let's head on over. Let's do a quick save. Good, good, good. Oh, and of course, I rested and all that. There's a, like, battle bear coming in hot. 
Let's see if we can avoid its fury. Oh, shit. What will happen? I think I died. I think I died. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Here's a question. If I scream prior Mabel off the side, can she die then? Or is she still immune to death thanks to her armor plating? Let's find out. Prior Mabel, it's time for you to fall. Oh, ah! Shit! Okay. Okay. Hang on. Hang on. Oh my gosh. What is this? Everything is shaking all over town. Can we even get her to, like, chill the fuck out? Oh my god, she is flying off really fast. Okay. <laughs> hang on, hang on. Okay. We might need to kill this bear because it's causing, like, a massive issue. Alright. Yeah! Yeah! There we go. Alright. Ooh, fuck. Alright. And then, let's pop a quick save. Let's see. And... Prior Mabel, can I just... What the fuck is that? Can I just ram your ass on off there? No. Do I have a way to, like, issue paralysis upon another being? I do. Oh, shit. I wish to buy. You fucker. You absolute fucker. I do so love Okay, okay, mortals. okay. We can somehow get down here. We can do it, somehow. Can I climb up this? Oh, yeah. Look at this. This is how we do it. We're, like, practically flying. Hell yes. Okay. Good. Good shit. All right. Now, we've already been here and... Oh, I'm really flying into trees and everything. This is the Bard's Summit Leap. Or Leap Summit. Okay. So we don't need to clear that out. We've already done all this like a million years ago. Oh, shit. There's some money right there, but it's fine. Let's see. So what's our best route over there? Do we need to cross here or cross this like little river? I think we do. Let's try and roll up this way. Good. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. I can't pass through that. It was like some sort of mystical anti-horse barrier. Some of their ancient forsworn woodland magic. It's able to ward off beasts. Okay. There we go. They're wild magic. They're secret magic! They got that secret magic! You know. <laughs> I guess you don't. Shit, man. We are still rumbling in a major way. What is what is rumbling out here? Gloom Reach, maybe? Is that what's rumbling? Are there Dwemer ruins out here that would be causing a major rumble? I don't know. Oh dear lord, I feel like I'm gonna sneeze soon. I'm so sorry if, the, if this happens. <laughs> Please just let me apologize in advance if, if we get a sneeze going on. Alright, let's see. Oh shit. Runoff Caverns Discovered. What is this? Is this what I think it is? Broken Dwarven Horse. Started the Dwarven Horse. Recover the head of the Dwarven Horse. Right front leg, right, or er, back leg, left front leg, and left back leg. Oh my god, you have to assemble it? Holy shit, this is where it is? Oh my god, I can't believe I just happened to run into it out here. That's kind of amazing. Okay. Where's it at? In the runoff caverns, maybe? Perhaps I can find the missing pieces somewhere nearby. Okay. Is that why they call it runoff caverns? Because the legs ran off? <laughs> Is that good? <laughs> Is that good? Is that a good one? No? Huh. Oh, look, some iron. Oh, okay. Let's get that. Should we fuck with, like, a robot horse? Oh my god. 
We need to, we have to upgrade, right? I've, I've, look, if not for this, I wouldn't do it. But we can enhance, right? We can get the power of, how's <laughs> the little jingle go? How's <laughs> it go? I can't remember from Mario 64. When you get the metal helmet, the metal hat or whatever, right? <laughs> we can unlock, we can unleash the power of Metal Mabel. Oh my god. I think it's possible. Should we go inside of this strange runoff cave? I mean, it's right here. It is really like trying to get me to go in there, I think. Let's just have a peek. Let's have a peek a -roo. Let's see. Could this be it? Yeah, right here. We'll see. We'll see what's up. Oh, this has got to be it, right? Oh, shit. You think the legs ran off on their own? <laughs> is that possible? No, that's not how they work, is it? Maybe if they each have, like, crystals in them, could they have a mind of their own? Each one? Do they even have a mind? Do, like, dwarven automata have minds? Are they... Is it artificial intelligence? No. Right? It's just... Well, maybe they are. Maybe they are closer to artificial intelligence because they somehow use... Or maybe they're not artificial at all. Right? Because if, if the idea is that it uses soul magic... What if it's just like people, you know? And they've been subjugated, right? What if they their minds have... Their soul essence has... Like their will has been bent to that of the Dwemer programming. In a sense, right? Holy shit! What the fuck is this place? Oh my god. Wow. Look at that. Hang some clothes from those pipes. I just built a... pipe-based clothes hanger in real life the other day. This is also why this video is so late, because I had to do some extensive cleanup and whatnot after that. <laughs> if you follow me on Twitter and all that, you can see these wonderful pictures of the process of me building this clothes rack. Oh my gosh. All right, let's head on out over here. This has got to be it, right? This has got to be it. Are we tracking it? Yeah, we are, but to no avail. Oh shit. A mercenary. Wow. Look, they're wearing such a heavy-duty hat, like a trapper's hat with the shoulder padding and everything, but still, totally shirtless. <laughs> okay. I'll take some of that. Oh, look. A mercenary's note. It's been two days since we've heard from the mage. He told us to wait here at camp, but everyone's tired of stripping spiders for loot. The mage promised us fortune and glory, but if the fool got himself killed, none of us get paid. That's a problem. Still, I'm not sure we should just- we should leave just yet. Something about this place feels off. Maybe it's the air. One minute it's dry enough to crack your throat. Other times it's wet enough to drown you. In most ruins it's easy to lose track of time. But here, I feel like I'm losing my mind. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's quite the jump from uh, losing track of time. Last night, I... <laughs> Sorry. Last night, I decided to step outside and take a breath. Maybe just seeing the sun again would help me keep my wits. When I came back to camp sweating from the heat, I told one of the other mercs she should do the same. She told me she already did, but it was too damn cold. I wasn't sure what she meant until I saw the snow on her boot. <gasps> oh my god. I'm not sure what the fuck this means. Huh. What? How does that imply that you're losing your mind? Doesn't that just mean it snowed? What? <laughs> did did this did mercenary not know about weather? Is 
my guy, it can snow. <laughs> that could that could also be why there was why it was like no snow when you went out, and then there was snow when she did. <laughs> am, I, am I misunderstanding this? Like, <laughs> what is what does that fucking mean? <laughs> Jazargo, <laughs> listen. We don't study this kind of shit back at the college, but uh shit, you're a smart dude. Like do you do you, do you make sense of that? <laughs> Alright, let's see. We got anything else over here? It looks like there may be potential for jumping down. I mean certainly if we use our incredible power, but I feel also at the same time we should we should try not to use it. Right, we should try to scale downward without using it. Like, for example, we could cross over here. You know? But also, simultaneously, we could go through the cavern of love. The tunnel of love. Let's go through the tunnel of love. Alright. There we are. Rare instance of a bandit setting up a tent underground. It happens, but it's quite rare. Or sorry, a mercenary. Okay. There we go. Oh, shit. Oh my gosh. It didn't even die from that. Now it's just really fucking angry down there. Oh, gosh! Wow, look at the angle on that. Had almost like a 90 degree curve. <laughs> <gasps> okay, all right. These are the homing, homing ballista. Okay, let's head on back over this way. Here, look. Hell yes. You like that? Let's head on down here. Good. Let's pop a quick save just in case we get fucked up a bit. Oh yeah. Get that light armor up. Shit. Neat. Okay. And we can also jump into this, like, radioactive runoff or whatever, right? Look at that. It's, like, green. I got the FEV flowing. Alright. What else is over here? Petty soul gem, a flawless ruby. My goodness. Alright. What else is down in this weird little area? There's a lot of branching paths here. It's got to be said. Oh, no. Another slain mercenary. Okay. A treasure chest as well. Wait, what was the weird fucking armor that we needed? That weirdly specific armor? Dwarven armor of major alteration. What the fuck? We're never going to find that for Kalsamo. It's never going to be done. Okay. Hopefully that was like a radiant quest, you know? <laughs> Otherwise, if that leads to something greater, it's like, oh, do three radiant quests for Cal Selmo, and then you unlock Cal Selmo's secret quest. Oh, shit, we're never gonna find out. Alright. Let's head on over here. Through this. Good, 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 good. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's almost like a... Watermill. Huh. I wonder how much electricity you actually generate from watermills like this, you know? It can't be much, right? Because it's not exactly like high pressure. You know, it's not like a dam where the immense pressure of the water is moving shit at like a wild ass rate. Shit, I'm, I'm stuck back here, aren't I? This is a fucking booby trap. Oh my gosh! Oh, holy shit! Freed at last. But there is a secret treasure down here. Okay, we'll leave the rest. F it. Okay, let's flick this on. Good, good, good. Over here. Look, I'm gonna keep trying to soul trap him to no avail. Take that. Oh, shit. Falling down here. Now this one. This one I'm definitely trapped in. Right? Oh my god, I'm not. They thought of everything. 
Let's quickly loot it before I forget and lose track of which ones we've looted and have not. Oh my gosh, there are simply too many different paths here. I'm losing track of them all. Okay. What have we got in here? Oh, ah, a treasure. There we go. A Dwemer dish and a Dwemer lever. Okay. Cool. You know, you can never pick up the Dwemer rocks, right? How come nobody has an interest in the Dwemer rocks? Sure, it's not the alloy, but there's got to be someone who's interested in, like, the Dwemer carvings and all that. Nobody wants the Dwemer rocks? Dwemer rock carving? That seems valuable in some way. You know, there's Dwemer beds and chairs and shit. They're made of rocks sometimes, right? In fact, I think the beds are always made of rocks and the chairs are sometimes made of rocks. Oh, shit. This, what is this? It's been dug up. There's a cog over here. Gordon's, like, trying to eat it. Okay. Oh, no. Somebody got fucked up. One gold in their knapsack. A tomato. Munch on that. I'll take the necklace and the healing potion. Wow, they were completely naked. All of their clothes inside of their knapsack. What a psychopath. <laughs> All right. Let's see. This is around here. I'm trying to think. In in Fallout 4, we have the advent of clothed skeletons, don't we? Or do they exist in Fallout 3? Are there skeletons with, like, ratty clothes on them as well? Do we have the technology already and we just don't make use of it so everyone who's, like, become a skeleton is just naked as shit? <laughs> I'm not sure if we have it yet. I can't remember if Fallout 3 had skeletons that had, like, torn up clothing. Oh, shit. There we go. Oh, shit. Whip. There we go. Cool. Alright. Take some of this stuff. Good. And let's flick on the lights here. Again, get it refreshed. Alright. So... We got some pipes leading into this light here. Okay, there's like a really wild looking light there. It's like it's drawing me over to it. Maybe there's a treasure or some hidden path. I don't think so. Okay. Weird. Sure. How about over here? Should we check in the water? Look, this area we haven't gone. Up here. Is there actually something here, though? Oh, this is a loop around town, ain't it? Holy hell. Okay. So is that back the way we came? Let's see. There should be a shirtless man over there, right? Oh. How do we activate this one? Uh-oh. Huh. Oh, no. That's a different-ass place. Yeah, we're in a different area. Huh. Okay. Can I go along this for fun? Where's this gonna take me? It's gonna take me to something cool? Holy shit. Oh my gosh. What's going on with this? Is this upside down? I think it's like an archway repurposed. Okay. Sure. Yeah, this is definitely the Creation Club stuff, right? There's too much wild shit going on in here. Okay. There's just too many pipes just out here. You know? Okay. Well, let's take care of the Spider Lord. There we are. Gotcha. And what have you got? Some oil and some gem. Okay, let's check inside the nasty water. What have we got? Oh, fuck. There's like a million ways to get stuck in this place. Oh, sheesh. I'm just like in a constant edge of my seat moment just wondering, oh, fuck, is this the one? And so far, none of them have been the one. They're just really good at faking you out. 
<laughs> That's the secret skill of whoever made this Creation Club shit. Right? Just making you think you have to turn on no clipping. Okay. Go over this way. Wow. Another one just popped out. Are they all coming out of different places? Oh, look. Another slain nudist. Okay. Steel Sword of Ice. Oh, there's a big fucker up there. Okay. That's what we activated. We got a little too close down here. Okay. Can hear him stomping around. Sure. Can we go through this? No. Let's see. Over this way. No, nothing. All right. Sure. Let's go backtracking a bit, right? Wait, how the fuck did we even get into this room? Oh, it was down here, right? Yeah. Oh, so how do we even proceed forward down this route? Huh. Yeah, if this controls over here, what controls over that away? Oh yeah, weird, because we came out we came into the room from there. So how do you proceed forward? Maybe maybe it was a different route that has the other lever. Okay. Well, let's scout it out. I wonder if I can fly over. Oh, yes. Ooh. Okay, we're good. We're good. Maybe there's another lever in here somewhere. Right? But still, we have other shit to check elsewhere. If we if we need to, we can really comb over all of the pipes and see if there's a lever stuck to one of them that we missed. Let's just backtrack, though. Because we have such a wealth of other options. Right? Okay. This way. Good. Let's flick on the lights again. Okay. And down here, we didn't have anything, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then, around this corner into this section, and here we had a bunch of shit. We could have optionally gone downward. Right? <gasps> there we go. Down this. And let's go into this, like, weird little, I don't know, flow area. Okay. Now where are we? Are we back in that big center room? I think we are. Like the big room that you first enter. So does that funnel into that little area no matter what? Like if you... Invincibility yourself down here? Yeah, I think so. Because look, there's a spider here. We saw it earlier. Is it friendly? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. No, it's not. Look, I gave it a chance. Look, last time I didn't give him a chance. This time I did. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Remember back at the... Fuck, I don't even remember what it was. But how you could control some. Just fucking annihilate them all. <laughs> Look, if they want me to spare them, they should have at least given them a pallet swap or something. <laughs> Alright. Over here. Make it chir cheer up at me or something. Okay. What's going on? It's just some noisy water. I think so. I, I, bet, I bet this flows into the other mill, you know? I am surprised that they can mill anything with these, like, heavy-ass gears, you know? Because, like I said, with the low pressure, maybe, maybe it's magic water, you know? Just don't think about it too much. It's magic water. Is this one also going to be angry, or what's up? Okay. Ah! Gems, eat some salmon real quick. Woo! Fly on over here. What have we got? More weird shit just like cranking on up out of the ground. Some weird fucked up noise going on. What is that? What is that noise? Sounds like some kind of strange magic activating and unactivating. Weird. 
or something blasting, right? It sounds like blasting of some sort. Ebony Gauntlets, Ultimate Magicka, a little bit of money. Take the Petty Soul Gem. Oh, want that two gold. Very important to have that. Okay. Anything else around here? Can we swim into this? How deep is this? Oh, it's quite shallow, just as before. Well, in this section, it is actually kind of deep. Okay. Oh, hey. And there's... A robo spider orb there. Okay. How about in this section? Oh, yeah, we can swim this. Ooh, but I don't think you're supposed to. Look at that. Okay. Hang on. Can I actually go under it? No. Fair enough. Yeah, there is definitely some shit just blasting. Is it up there on the other end? I guess so. Okay. There's some steam blasting out of here, but that's not our blasting noise. I'm surprised no one's ever repurposed this large Dwemer plate metal into just a shield, you know? Just like, string some leather strips around it. Turn it into a makeshift shield. Like, I know, you know, salvaging shit from your environment to create weapons, it's... They kind of save that amount of creativity for... Fallout. <laughs> right? That sort of scrappiness. That l degree of resourcefulness. I feel like people would do it here, you know? In a sense... For the Dwemer, at least, when it comes to these Dwemer areas... This is a post-apocalyptic environment. You know? Think about it. All the Dwemer ruins... It's a post-apocalyptic biome, in a sense. Let's take all this. Their whole civilization underwent an apocalypse. And none of them made it. Well, okay. A few of them made it. Very few of them made it. All right. Let's continue over here. Can we actually jump around that? Shit, we might be able to. I don't know. Depends on how much air control we get via jumping there. Alright, yeah, and look, we looped back up here now. Uh, okay. Is there really no way for me to... pull down this shit? How do I do it? It must be from the other side. Maybe this is the dungeon loop around. It's just very elaborate. You know? Maybe that's it. Okay. I'll believe it. Huh. Red apples. A munch on those. Top off our health. Okay. Let's try and run along this pipe. It seems very unintentional, but you know, there may be like a fun treasure if it's possible. Oh shit. Holy fuck, we can do it. Okay. Good, good, good. Look at how that is glowing. It looks almost like it'll blow up, you know? Like the telltale sign of a video game set piece ready to be activated. Okay, well, this has led to absolutely nothing. <laughs> Come on, at least put a little bag of money there for me. Jeez. All right, let's head on down this then. Yep, there we go. So now then, what the fuck are we missing? If this all loops together, what am I looking for, then? How do I go in deeper here? Can I even? So this is the walkway, right? Was there another section that I had missed? Maybe there really is a lever back in that other room. You know? Maybe that's for real. Okay, well. Let's backtrack some more. We'll scout that away, because we did have to kind of move through at a certain pace. Thanks to the enemies and all that. Let's keep backtracking. We'll be super duper thorough. Am I backtracking or am I... I'm pushing forward. Okay. Let's backtrack. Properly. Yes. Am I dead? No, I'm alive. Nailed it. Made it. Alright. Up the stairs. Good. And then... Let's see. Let's flick on the lights once more. 
Yeah, so we're back into this area. And there's definitely no levers in here, right? Just making sure, you know? It almost seems like there should be a lever, but there's definitely not. It's got to be the loop around, right? That's what this is. Got to be. Right? Yeah, got to be. Okay. Can we enter that centerpiece there? Hmm. Ah! Ooh. All right. We definitely can't enter this, right? Let's just double check. Yeah, at least not from down here. Okay. Sure, sure. Let's continue back forward then. We'll look for another lever inside that final room we were in. Okay. Head on over here. Woo! Good. And then... Part of me was wondering if the lights from these sorts of braziers or whatever you would call these... If that was leading us or directing us toward a lever or some path forward, you know? And that's a dead end, right? Yeah. We went in here, we got the fun little treasure. Okay. And then here we have this other loop around. Unless you think we can, like, climb onto that and go up. But that seems like a stretch. That seems like something wild to expect of your player, you know? But maybe they they are expecting it, you know? Maybe it's an expectation now. We're in creation club. Whoa, it came down somehow? How the fuck did this motherfucking hacker do it? Oh my gosh. This asshole turned on the TCL. <laughs> okay, sure. Let's fucking go. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, right in the crotch. Fuck off, Optimus. All right. Let's take all this. Run off Cavern's Gate Key. But I shouldn't have this yet, should I? Right? Because I shouldn't have been able to fight this dude yet. Right? Hmm. I remember seeing a locked door. But I don't remember where. It was like hard locked. Via a key. It was really back even before that big opening room, wasn't it? Well, now we definitely have a fucking option, though. Right? We have a... A choice before us. Okay. <laughs> I kind of want to fuck with it, though, you know? I kind of want to fuck with it. Oh, shit. Okay. Here, let's flick this on. There's got to be another lever in here, though, right? Somewhere. Maybe it's where this light is pointing, you know? Maybe it really is trying to guide us to the solution. Oh, shit, it is. Hey, there we go. Okay, and then you would be able to fight the dude correctly and then get your key. Okay, sure. There we go. Oh, jeez. Let's take some of that. Good. And let's head on up here. Lovely. Okay. And then is this like a dead end or what? Oh shit, hang on. We got we gotta try this. What is it? Jazargo, I need you to <laughs> I need you to wait it right there. Be done. Is that all? <laughs> oh yeah. Just hang on there, Jazargo. Holy shit. How far did that motherfucker go? terribly far. Okay. Can I do it, though? Hang on. <laughs> hang on, hang on. Let's see. What's it called again? Slow time? Yeah. There we go. 
Fuck. <laughs> okay. It didn't work out quite as well as I would have hoped. Okay. <laughs> alright, alright. Fine. There we are. Yeah, okay, let's heal. Jazargo, great idea. You do it. You pull the lever. Send me flying. Right? What is it? There we go. And then activate lever. It will be done. Yeah, well. All right, don't take all fucking day here, dude. Here, if I tell you to just wait there, will you... Okay, now you'll hustle. Okay, and then... It will be done. Very cautious about the lever. Fair enough. After the shit you've seen me do. Oh my gosh! Look, you can almost get up there. Shit, you probably can. Oh fuck, Jazargo is trapped. Uh-oh. Jazargo, pull it again! I can't see it actually <laughs> Okay, okay. Oh shit, he can't get it, cause I I can't make it out. My vision is too bad. Right? What we see in our player UI is actually not accurate to the Dragonborn's eyesight, as it turns out. We <laughs> we similar to how cities and stuff in the Elder Scrolls games are scaled down. Our field of vision, our like distance of vision is scaled upwards. The Dragonborn actually, in reality, what they see, our characters, they're seeing like fog everywhere. It's like they're playing fucking Morrowind. <laughs> There's just like a thick wall of fog right here. Can't even make it out. That's why we couldn't issue the command to Jazargo. Who knows what's over there? It's fucking a Stephen King novel over there. <gasps> Alright, let's head on over this way. Good. Oh, look, there's some water here. Oh, fun. Okay. How about over this way? Let's, oh my gosh, run off Cavern's Gate Key. Hell yes. Uh oh, look out. There's a little bit of water here. <laughs> oh man, that's not what we need though, is it? Of major alteration, yeah. Sorry, Kelselmo. Maybe we'll find one someday. <laughs> Had to do it. Alright, what's in here? Daedric plate helmet, wow. Okay, telekinesis. War acts of petrifying. Eh, we'll leave it all. We've already got Daedric plate helmet, I'm pretty sure. Okay, or at least we have a Daedric male helmet. And it looks almost identical to it. Not really a big fan of the Daedric armor, anyhow. My favorite Daedric armor is the Oblivion set, I think. Wow, one of the mercenaries yet lives! Are you peace-loving? No, you're like actually pissed as hell. Okay. You'd think you would be chill about this, you know? There was no sign of, uh, in their notes that they would attack me. Other than, I guess, the fact that this is Creation Club stuff, so... So they probably wouldn't have anything to say, right? <laughs> Better to have them attack than, than, than just be like, Hello? <laughs> you can find out more in this note. <laughs> Alright. There we go. Got that. Look at the lights. Oh, yeah, look at these nice stairs covered up by the big old pipes. Alright. Down this way. Good. Oh. Oh, I see. Okay. So we pull on this. And it activates one of them? Okay. Oh, shit. Is it on a timer? Because now it's spitting shit out. Hmm. I wonder if it's one of these timed ones, you know? Eh, maybe not. That said, we could totally just scream over there right now. But we'll hold off. We'll try and do it the proper way, you know? We'll do it the, the way that it was intended for fun. 
see if we can solve this mind-bending puzzle. Where could these levers be? Whoa, what a puzzle. All right, over here. No? Jeez, look at all that weird metal shit right there. Okay. Let's flick on the lights. There we are. Good. You know what all this, like, with this being such a big cavernous area and the pipes running through it, you know what it kind of reminds me of? Fucking portal. When you go uh, behind everything, you know? When you get back up into it all. Oh shit, two cogs. Was this gonna fill with water or something? This looks like the kind of shit that's gonna fill with water. How is this fucker not alive? Huh? Oh, it is now! Okay. Hope you weren't peaceful. Because I have just annihilated your entire groin. Okay. What have you got? There we go. Grab some of these goodies. Alright. Lovely. Anything else? Look, yeah, see, no one no one gives a shit about the Dwemer carved tables or chairs and all that. Alright. See, when they come back, that's gonna be the big twist. Oh, shit. The solution to defeating them, it was all in their rocks. <laughs> it wasn't the metal at all. <laughs> there we go. Water? Huh? No. Uh, just lowered the other unit there. Okay. Got a little spider lord. Shit. Oh god. I accidentally tapped my shit again. There we go. Good. Okay. Take some of that. You know, for a dungeon that we're presuming has a whole bunch of different pieces of of a horse, of a robotic horse. We sure haven't found any fucking pieces of a robotic horse so far. <laughs> you know, I mean, is, are they all just gonna be contained in one area or what? <laughs> if that's the case, why not just have it be like, oh, just get the head. Come on. All right. Let's see over here. Pick into this, what have we got? An elixir of resist shock. Mm, I'll take the necklace too. Oh, look at this. Let's flick on our lights. Oh, look. It's like a really weird looking gearbox, huh? Oh no. Actually, it's moving. Whoa. What the hell? Look at that little box go. It's gonna go the other direction now? Wow. Amazing. Okay. Hey, these look like Dwemer levers. Just really humongous. Right? Am I right about that or am I right? That's a Dwemer lever. Big style, though. Uh-oh. What the hell horrible shit is gonna go on here? Let's just turn it on. I don't like that. Nothing happened. It's the scariest thing of all. Oh, okay. Good. Just kind of hovered there for a bit. In a strange, terrifying way. Hang on. Let's take a look at these levers. It's just a really huge Dwemer lever. Look at this. There was a small and a medium, and this is the large. The large is just really fucking large. <laughs> Be careful. Okay. Here we go. Oh, it's the door that's being activated. I see. Good. There we are. And into another weird fucking room. All right. Man, this place is quite big. Alright. What have you got? You got anything good? Got some oil. More oil. Okay. Let's top ourselves off. Some delightful bowls. Oh, yeah. Some of them ingots. Lovely. Plate metal. Believe that. Uh-oh. 
A ballista lord. Okay. Yep. Oh shit. Okay, good. Another shirtless man. What have you got? You got a fun note or anything? No. Alright. Alright, see, this is why I could use for the last one. <laughs> Look, the giant beam of light, it wasn't pointing directly at the lever. How was I supposed to know? <laughs> Alright, anything else around here? Huh. Look at this. This looks like a secret staircase or something that's going to expand upwards or downwards. Or extend, I should say. Anything over here? No, it's already been gathered up. Okay. Anything else? Up here? Ah. Oh no! Empty treasure! Wow, the mercenaries really did collect all their shit, huh? It's from them, isn't it? The fact that all the ore is empty. Okay. That said... How'd they make it this far without killing all the robots and shit, right? How come I have to solve the puzzles again? You know? Did they just let the robots reset the puzzles? Because I assume that's why the puzzles get reset, right? It's the... the robots. It's the automatons doing it. But... <laughs> were the mercenaries just watching as all this shit went down and then they're like, Well, I sure hope it doesn't attack me after it's done. <laughs> Alright, here. Let's activate this fun unit. Oh, shit! Oh, it's got an invisible. Okay. It doesn't actually react with the animation. Man, that looks cool as hell, though. Hang on, let's do that again. Let's do that again. Fuck! Alright. Because <laughs> apparently all the top ones did it as well. But I only got to really see the bomb one. We'll just have to imagine it in our mind. Hang on. Jizargo, close your eyes and imagine all of these, like, metal steps expanding in unison. Imagine it. Mm. It was really cool. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Oh, look at this. There's, like, a little aqueduct. Oh. Should we jump into that? Is it something worth jumping into? Kind of quick save. I feel like it is. You know? Oh, look over there. Whoa. Let's check this out, too. Alright, there's no secret. Okay. Yeah. This Creation Club author, really not keen on rewarding us with fun little secrets, right? Not like that other one, who loved, fucking loved putting the little secrets everywhere, right? Okay. Oh, shit. Okay. Watch this end up being a little secret, right? <laughs> maybe this a, maybe this is a secret right here. It fucking isn't. More importantly, is it a death trap? Am I stuck here? Oh hell yeah! Look, they see they're meticulous enough to recognize this. This, like I said, it's really interesting to see the distinctions between. The Creation Club authors in their own unique quirks and stuff, right? This author was meticulous enough to create these fun areas and they recognize, oh, the player can access this. Better create small ways for them to jostle themselves out of there, right? Or like a little lip that you can jump onto to get fully out and all that, right? But they're like, that's cool and all. But I don't really want to reward them for going over there. <laughs> Alright. Down this way. Good, good, good. Alright. Let's head on up. Still. I, I'm a fucko. I'm a fucking weirdo. I, I get a reward out of just having done it. Just going over there. I still get a little bit of the fucking serotonin. Alright. Oh, look. There's a little secret area here. Filled with murder. Okay. What have you got? Oh, some more calcum. And what have you got? 
Nothing much. Another shirtless man. Secret treasure chest, though. Ebony boots of brawn. Oh. I don't think we've seen of brawn in forever. If ever. Have I seen an of brawn in this game before? I feel like we must have, but I don't remember it. Okay. Let's pop a quick save. Oh, uh, we're getting to that weird noise now. Oh. Hey, is this person actually going to talk to me? It's nope, over okay. Over here. Uh, oh, yeah. Ooh, it's vibrating immensely. Okay, love you guys. Anything good? No? Okay. Oh, do you think the blasting noise is some kind of fucked up booby trap? Seems liable to be the case. It's getting pretty fucking loud. Okay, so there's our loop around, I think. Holy shit, it's really... It's really noisy. Okay. Wait. Was it actually the wizard doing it? I'm afraid I'm going to knock this dude off and be able to search their bod. Okay. A lot of the people we're killing in here, their corpses just don't know what the fuck to do. <laughs> oh, look. They got over encumbered. They dropped all the ore on the ground to come back to. <laughs> Alright. Good. Let's get alone up. There we go. Take that little smidgen of money. Good stuff. Good. Got you. Hey, you know what? Do I have a black soul gem on me? I can take you. Let's find out. Oh shit. Oh shit. There we go. Nope. No black soul gem. Okay. Cool. Let's flick on the lights here. Anything else of interest? Oh, there is. A secret treasure. Well, not really that secret. Gold sapphire ring, daedric arrows. We'll leave that, though. Common soul gem, little magical potion. Wonderful. Okay. And let's bring down the bridge, huh? Oh, look. There are actually some ingots here that we skipped over. Alright. There's a gate in the center. Sure. Man, it is really popping off. Okay. Let's continue over here. Can we actually loop over back to the... Oh, okay. Just gotta pop open the gate. There we go. Got a ruby. Nothing else. Alright. And then we loop back to their fun little camp. Which maybe we should make use of and rest? Yeah, we'll get fully rested here because we are technically in an interior, right? Yeah. All right. Well, you know what? Hey, maybe this is a good ass time to call it, right? When next we come back, we'll continue exploring the enormous cavernous halls of Valthum. And maybe there will be a horse part inside? I don't know. Can we unlock the power of Metal Mabel? Perhaps. But perhaps not, because we actually don't have a quest tracker for it. Who knows where it could be? It could be fucking anywhere. But hopefully we will be rewarded for our efforts here with going through this enormous fucking place. <laughs> and then we'll go back on track with all the usual shit that we need to get onto, right? All right. Until next time, please take care of each other. <laughs>